I'm a big dreamer. I basically grew up with cartoons that came from the United States. I still love the Jetsons. And uh, to me, that was uh, the future that was just at hand. You could just reach out and, and touch it. There were people living in the sky, moving around with vehicles that had no wheels and are basically airborne. It was a representation of what could be. And I thought, if someone can dream up this, what other dreams? can I dream up to make happen in America. My name is David, and I came to America in 1982 from Iran, and this is my welcoming story. My uncle had pinned his hopes on having me be with him, learn his business, and uh, uh, continue to work with him uh, in a fa family environment. Uh, at the time, we had no skyscrapers in Iran. He lived in marina towers, those round towers that are on uh, Chicago River, and, um, and the views were magnificent. Uh, the environment looked so different from what uh, we were used to. I never knew people could actually live up there uh, in big towers. MBAs were just becoming uh, uh, the thing to do. And uh, I was setting my goals at uh, the top universities in the United States to do my MBA. Sadly, um, the events in Iran uh, in 1979 made it virtually impossible for Iranians to obtain visas to come to the United States to study. My uncle in Chicago had uh, extended an invitation to me uh, to go and join him and uh, work in America. And that's exactly what I did. You know, in Iran we have a tradition of um, welcoming members of the family and giving them opportunities. And to spend that time in supporting uh, an extended member of the family to get up on their own two feet and, and make it is actually a bigger deal here than it would be back in Iran. And I'm deeply grateful for that. As an American, I was given the chance to create opportunities for setting the standard for digital literacy worldwide. This opportunity would never happen if I were in Iran practicing exactly the same thing, understanding as much uh, of the field as I do and uh, trying to reach out to as much of the rest of the world as I do. Uh, being an American makes it easy for us to reach out from uh, Far East to Latin America. Everybody listens when you say, I bring you the gift of technology and education together. How can we collaborate? Not many people around the world get the opportunity to uh, practice what they love and to uh, affect as many lives as I have been able to, to do through education. I feel extremely lucky.